Is it doing it? This is different, Drew, so I don't know if it's doing it. And it's working. Is it? Am I on cam? Sorry. <laughs> I, this looks different than it normally does, so I just want to make sure. You are on. Oh, sweet. Okay. Hey, welcome to my little paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah, and today we get to paint the rainbow camera together for St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing my shirt for the occasion, and I hope you're feeling lucky. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to do this with you guys. I have Cammie over here. Hi. <laughs> I don't think you guys, can you guys see Cammie? No. Nope. He can't see you. No. Nope. Oh, do you want to say hi? Hi. No? All right, Cammie's back there. She's <laughs> saying hi. She's watching for your comments, for anything that you want to ask, if you have questions along the way, or even if you want to chat with us, right? We are here to chat with you. And so throw them at us as we go, because Miss Cammie will throw them at me. So we're going to do this together. Um, I have a couple of colors today, right? We're doing the rainbow camera. If you have our paint kit, you know it came with the primary colors. So you get to paint this in whatever color you want just by mixing, okay? So I'm gonna show you. I've laid them all out on my plate here, right? That way my white doesn't get all contaminated at once. Can you see how I separate it in three piles? Super important, okay? Because you're gonna need a lot of white for this one. So I always separate my white. If you have our paint kit, you got a lot of white for this reason. And then you'll have pink, turquoise, and yellow on your plate, okay? These, even though it's not red, yellow, and blue, they're the same thing. So if you mix the pink and the turquoise, you're gonna get purple. If you mix the yellow and the pink, you're gonna get orange, okay, and so on. So have lots of fun with me here. Mix and match it, or you can follow along and do it exactly how I do. All right, I also have a couple brushes. You can use whatever works for you. My favorite for this one is my flat. So I have my red flat brush. I also have a detail brush for little things. And then I also like to use like a round brush or a small flat, okay? Either way works. Make sure you have a jar of water. You're gonna need it. One or two of them is great and a napkin handy. Okay, let's get started. First things first, always with acrylic paint, take your brush and swish it around in your water, okay? We want to start with a damp brush because if you don't, your paint will seize up on you pretty quick. Acrylic paint needs lots of water, okay? And we're gonna warm up those paint muscles by painting our background first, right? And my background is turquoise. so. I'm gonna take my largest flat brush to start with, and I'm going to mix some white with my turquoise. So here we go. I'm gonna scoop it up here, right? I'm scooping up my white, mixing it with some turquoise. And this is where you get to decide how light or dark you want your paint to be, okay? I want mine pretty light. So I'm gonna keep scooping up some white here, adding it to my turquoise. And you see how I'm saving some for later? I'm not mixing all my turquoise up at once. I'm saving it because I'm gonna need some for later, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna mix and mix till I get that color. I really like this shade. See how light that is? So I'm gonna start with that. And we're just gonna reach up high. I like to start at the top of my canvas. That way I don't smear my paint. Now you're gonna see here that your rainbow is shooting out of the camera, right? So my brush strokes are gonna go that direction as if everything is shooting away from the camera. It just makes it so fun to see those textures, the textures in your paint, all the thick layers and the brush strokes. Okay, so think about that as you're painting, instead of going side to side, I brush up, okay? And that also lets all the little white strokes in your brush show up. You can add a little more white to your brush if you want to, to give it even more texture. There we go. Already looking pretty, I love that color. What's up, Cami? She was about to say something. Well, I was. We okay, have what? some people Ooh. that are- We have people. Yeah, that are viewing with us, so I just wondered <laughs> who it is. Ooh, 
Say hi. So who's viewing? Yeah, we who's watching with, with us? You, especially say hi. Um, if you're one of our artists that we've painted with in the past, we want to say hi to you. We so do. We want to say hi. Tell us who you I'm are. I'm gonna reach over on this side so you can see what I'm doing. You can chat with me. Miss Cammy is dying to talk to somebody, I do. all right? I feel she like loves to chit chat. I feel like I need a task. She needs something to Give do. Me a task. Right. So right now someone talk to her. It's just to make sure <laughs> that you are, are we are we on TikTok, Cammy? I don't know. Yeah, she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. I'm there's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find out. Okay, she's gonna find out because I'm sure we have friends talking to us there as well. We're on we're on both apps today, guys. We're doing um, our lucky live class here on TikTok and on Instagram. So hello to our TikTok friends as well. All right, if we don't see your comment, we will. Okay, just hang tight. I'm gonna be honest. Miss Cammy, with she's you. looking. I'm gonna be honest with you. She's gonna be honest with me. Um. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get our tech Where's man. our tech dude? Tech dude. Tech dude. Techie dude. <laughs> Are we on TikTok? Because this is, the, I just don't I'm gonna, know. I'm going to look I over just don't here. Know. I'm going to look over here and see. Why don't you just yeah. paint with our friends? Yeah, it's on there. You're on and, there, Cammy. if you can find it. And Hi, guys. All right, so you see how I'm painting all the way around that camera, right? And we just keep reaching around, and I am probably painting a lot faster than you. That's okay, all right? So you don't need to go this pace. Here's the, here's, here's the thing, Sarah. What? Do you have a what question? What if you get some of that turquoise uh -huh. into your camera? What if we get turquoise in the camera? I mean, mm -hmm. that, is that a May Day situation? Well, can you see Miss Sarah did? See well, how that's I, what, that's I what did that? That's what got me thinking. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, Miss Cammie. Glad you, you know, thought of that. we've painted with a lot of artists. Uh-huh. And anytime they get paint somewhere that they think they're not supposed to. They panic a little. It's like, oh my yeah. gosh. We need to get this we off. We need help right now. We need to get that off. So, right. So what do we do, Sarah? Yep. So you just keep painting, all right? Because here's the thing. This is layer number one. We're going to paint some more on that camera, okay? And that's okay. You just keep painting. Now, if you get a lot in the camera and it's really stressing you out, you can get a damp paper towel. That's okay. And wipe it off. Or even your finger. Sometimes I just take my finger and I go whoosh, like that and just wipe it off, okay? All right, so I have my background in. See this? It's in. Now, one thing I like to do that's kind of fun is I will take my flat brush right here and I'll put a little white on the corner like that. See that? Okay. I'll put some white in the corner of my brush. And just to show some texture and movement in my background, I'll brush some of that white in. See, I'm just putting in some white strokes here just to make it look like that rainbow is really shooting out towards the sky. It kind of makes See um, that? it shiny. It does make it shiny, Like huh? a flash. Like a flash. Like a flash. I like that, yes. Another thing I like to do, you see this little little clicker here. That's a clicker, okay? That's a clicker. It's a, or a button. As a, 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 the correct terminology would be a camera button. I call it a clicker. I don't even think okay? that's correct. Oh, what is that's it? Your, Cammy is our camera girl, so no, tell I'm us not. the correct terminology, Cammy. I am not a photographer, <laughs> so clicker works for me. Okay, well, see that clicker? I like to kind of go around it with some white just to show it off a little bit mm -hmm. and kind of show that you can click that. And then there's a little movement, okay? Um, you can also put a little more light around your camera if you want to show it off, which I like to do. I like to put light towards my object and that way it draws attention to it see that so i'm going to put a little more white around it now i'm going to let it be i'm letting this dry okay so i'm going to rinse my brush rinse it good clean it out okay and we're going to start with our camera now so make sure your brush is nice and clean before you move on i'm going to wipe it off here and i'm going to start 
with my yellow on my camera. So this is where you need to decide what color you want your camera to be. Do you want it to be a different color? I'm going to do yellow on the outside of my camera. And then I have one, um, one, I can't even talk right now, stroke, stripe of yellow in my rainbow coming right up the center. See that? Okay. So you can also do that differently as well. All right. All right. So make sure your camera is ready. Here we go. I'm going to do... <laughs> What are you guys whispering about over there? Mm -hmm. Well, um, uh -huh. something hey so about something. Something about something. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nothing too important that no. I need to worry about. No. Okay. All right. Okay. What are you doing? I'm gonna just do this right here. There we go. I had a little uh hang up and I'm letting our friends catch up a little bit because I freaking blew through that background. <laughs> Guys, are you ready? Here we go. We're going to do our yellow now on our camera. Okay. So I have my yellow on my plate here. Sarah. Ready to go. I'm going to add there, white to it. If what? there is a artist. If there's an artist. That wants that portion of their camera to be purple. Uh huh. What would you suggest they do with that paint palette that you have. With the paint palette. So if you guys wanna do purple, right? You have your primary colors. So if you have that pink and turquoise from our paint kit, you can mix that pink and turquoise with some white and get a really pretty purple. It's Miss Cammie's favorite purple, actually. It is, it's, it's yeah. really pretty. She loves that purple. You can so, make it even um, more plum. You know, mm -hmm. like to it's a really pretty purple. It's pretty. So mix these two here. Get a turquoise and a pink with some white and make yourself a pretty purple, okay? Because you'll love it. You really will. It's super pretty. And that's one reason we like to add all these different colors to your paint kits so that you can create your own. We love to see what you guys come up with. So I've mixed this really light yellow for my camera, okay? And I save some yellow for later, right? You see that? I always try and save some for later because you never know if you want to float the edges or if you want to add something to it. Okay, so I'm going to take my yellow now and I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm just going to paint here straight across the bottom. Now you see how I went into my traced outline here a little bit? That's okay. Don't worry about that, okay? This is, this is the beautiful thing about acrylics. You don't have to worry about that. You can just go back to it later, right? Now my daughter recently just painted something and she got frustrated and we had a nice long chat about this because you, it's really hard to mess up when you're painting with acrylics. It just is, right, Cammie? Yeah, there's, there's happy <laughs> accidents and you can always go back. It's and true. fix things. It's okay? true. You you cannot make a mistake that can't be fixed. Yep. So so it's okay. Don't panic about and it. And everyone needs to remember that. Remember what? It's their painting. Mm-hmm. Um. It's Can you not guys hear look, Miss Cammy? It's not loud and look clear. Like yours. It's very important what she's you know? saying. Well, I, we tell our artists this all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to look like they painted it, not like you painted it. Right. Even though we're all doing the same painting. Right. So, you know, and we're all learning and we're all at different levels. So just roll with it. Have fun. Enjoy the process. You will learn things as you go. Yep, you will. So, so I'm going to jump up here to the top because I'm going to do a different color down the center of my camera. Okay. Now, one thing I love about yellow, I will tell you, is you can see through yellow. It's very transparent. Okay. Yeah, I tell people it's a shy color. It, it's, it needs, is shy. It needs It needs help. layers <laughs> or it can also be your best friend when you are wanting to just see through it. Like all of these different outlines I have going on here, I can paint right over that. No problem. Paint right over it and you can see 
that there's still an outline there. See that? That's kind of fun when you're using yellow. You don't have to worry too much about that. So I'm yeah. just filling this in. It's one of those, like, there's pros and cons uh -huh. to it for sure. But use use some white. Use white. And it'll help. Sarah, Fill it I in. think we have... She's What's not, up? She's not chatting with me, but oh. I think it's probably because she's busy painting. Oh, good. I hope but she's busy painting. we have cute little May. Oh. Do you remember yes. little May? Yes. She, I believe. Is it May, really? I. May. Yes. Can May say hi? That would I be awesome. I, I miss, she miss might seeing them. Be, she might be busy, but I want May to know that... Mm -hmm. we Miss Cammy, Miss Cammy wants you to know we miss you, and Last I, so do time I. Last I saw May, I went to her house because uh -huh. I'm friends with May's mom. Oh, yeah, Martha. Okay. Oh, Martha. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 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 I know May's mom. Yeah. Shout so out to Martha. I was at her house, mm -hmm. and May gave me the biggest hug. Oh. And I've known May since she was a baby. Uh huh. Yeah, we used to be we used to be neighbors, but anyway. I think May is painting with us. Well, good. And I just want May to know. May, I hope you are. We miss you and send us a so picture cute. of your painting when you're done. We miss seeing you, girl. So we can see There's, it. Yes, please Maybe send it to us. Maybe her friend. Maybe her friend is with her. I hope so. Um, Painting's always more fun with a friend. Let me or tell maybe you. she's just having. Maybe she's just know, hanging with us. Yeah. Well, she's got two brothers. Maybe she's just having some girl time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how old is May? <sighs> can't remember. I can't remember. Well, we don't want to say the wrong thing, okay, May? No. We have an no. idea, but we're not going to say it, all right? How's she's, that? She's kind of I just thought Miss Cammie might know she's for sure before my, I said it. She's in between my girls somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think she might be in between Chloe and Addie. Oh, okay. so anyway, okay. May, tell us, you need to tell us, is Miss Sarah painting too fast? Yeah, let me know. Actually, are I'm probably you? going too slow now. <laughs> That's my guess. Okay, because these kiddos are always racing me. Yeah. Um, But, but I'm going, May, I'm going to go, May, talking to May now. <laughs> Hi, May, talking to you. I'm going to paint the middle now of my rainbow, okay? Do, right after I do my camera. If you want to change your colors, guys, you can all right, you can change them and not do yellow with me. But I'm just gonna take the yellow I used for my camera and go right up the center of my rainbow now. And see how I'm brushing up? Super important that you brush up so that your brush strokes show the direction that this rainbow is shooting out of the camera, okay? So I always try to take my brush and go that direction. If you need to come down a little bit, of course that's okay to fix little things or get your line just right. See, I'm just shooting straight up, okay? So did All we the way mention to that, edge. that we like to wrap our canvases? And we didn't. I'm sure our artists already know this because if you've our, been our Yeah, our regulars do. You know we're kind of sticklers for that. But Miss Sarah is painting on a mixed media paper. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have no edges. I don't have the edges like I normally do. Even though when you guys are in here for a class, you know, we remind you, right? We well, remind sometimes you. Sometimes they remind us. Or they that's very true. <laughs> sometimes that's very like, normal. Don't forget your edges. <laughs> so basically that means just go around your canvas. So um yes. it's a nice completed piece. Hello. So that shooting mm -hmm. um shooting flash that you just painted yellow, you would go around the top of your canvas yeah. on that one. Yes, so wrap it up here. Do you see up here at the top? You're gonna want to reach up high and paint the top and even all your sides with that turquoise. You can go back to it later if you didn't do it this time around and you want to. I love it too, because you don't have to worry about a picture frame. It looks so cute just sitting up on your mm -hmm. desk or your shelf or hung up, right? It's nice and completed. It is, it looks really nice. So even if you didn't do the turquoise part because Miss Sarah forgot to tell you, that's you can I'm do here, it later. That's why Miss Cammie's here. She keeps me in line. That's why I'm here. All right, since you artists aren't here to do it for her. Um, so I've I've discovered our TikTok situation. Oh, did you? I did. 
<laughs> Miss Cammy is is you, we're learning. We're learning, guys. No, it As has it, nothing to do with Miss Cammy. And no, no, it doesn't. It, 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 Our tech man is so leaving. Much. So, so much. Hopefully nothing We're learning. goes wrong. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Bye, tech man. Bye, tech man. <laughs> Be quiet on the way out. Don't make a sound. We're recording. Right. <laughs> He's like, you guys are fine. Bye-bye. Um, okay. So the situation we we with TikTok, it. Okay. my friend, is you are live. Am I? How long have I been live on TikTok? I don't know. Well. Because I can't see <laughs> in the setup you gave me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but you can't? Seth, or not Seth. Drew got on on a different Drew. device oh. and was able to see that Thanks, you are Drew. alive. Thanks, Drew. Can you see comments? I can't see anything. Oh. Yeah. Can't see the comments coming through? No. You should still be able to see them if you, if you join. Something. Something. Did well, you join it? I don't have um, another account. Oh. Okay. It's all right. Okay. So. So I'm going to make some green, though, guys. You ready to make some green with me? I'm going to add the turquoise to my yellow to make green, right? It makes a really pretty green. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to let this dry just a minute, okay? We're going to make some green. Since our brush already has yellow on it, that makes this really easy. And again, you are saving some yellow. Don't contaminate it all at once, okay? Save some for later. And start with a little bit of turquoise because you use too much. It, yeah, okay, so it this contaminates is, it yeah, really fast. This is the biggest okay. thing. It's very when you important. Make green, uh -huh. it's more yellow than anything else. More yellow, so. yes. So, the, what Ms. Cammie was saying was use a lot more yellow and just a touch of turquoise. Right, Ms. Cammie? That's what I'm That's saying. That's what she's saying. All right. And, but it's kind of fun to make your own green because you get to decide what kind of green you want. If you want it a lot darker or lighter, right? So, kind of play with that for a minute. See if you can figure out what kind of shade of green you want. I like the one I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. But I'm doing my farthest rainbow shooting out here from the camera green, okay? I'm gonna do it just the same way as I did my yellow. I'm shooting up, see that? Going up as I go. That's a beautiful green, Isn't that a Sarah? pretty green? So another tip, if you want to go more lime, mm -hmm. more yellow. If you more want yellow. to go a little cooler in the like cool family, you would do more turquoise. Yeah. Okay. So you'll want to kind of adjust that as you go. And another thing with green, it's a little deceiving. You won't know what it looks like till you start painting on the canvas. Because as you're mixing it, sometimes it looks one color. So kind of test it out a little bit. You could try painting it on your plate or go right to your canvas and do a quick stroke. See if you like it. Okay. And you're going to want to save some of this green for your clover. Or you can make more later. That's okay too. But I, I'm just going to save some for my clover. I want to just make sure that I have this rainbow in before I paint the black on my camera and I want it to dry. So I kind of do this in steps so that things can dry for you as you go. So here we go. Green also is very transparent, a lot like yellow. So if you feel like, oh boy, I'm gonna need another layer, that's all right. Do another layer later. Layer, blah, blah, blah. that was a lot of L's for me, but do it later after it dries. One more layer might do it for you. Okay, how we doing, Miss Cammy? So good. Okay. And we have more friends. Oh, we do? We have the cute shin kids. <gasps> the cute the shins. shins are yes. on? Um, I miss the shins. Listen, so I just want everybody to know Hi, this. Hi, shins. Because um, mm -hmm. they these are all ages. They are. We've got little littles. Oh, and ding. You guys yeah. are making me all emotional. I know. Oh. It's fine. It's is fine. It, is it is the youngest Ella or Bella? Oh gosh, J someone help don't me. put me on the spot here. Well, okay. I just want to shout out to her because I would have known, except now you asked, and now I, I don't want to be wrong. I know, okay, I know. But here's the thing: <sighs> she, I just I miss her. I do. I miss them all so much. And she, um, 
has yet to give me a hug. <laughs> she has yet to give you a hug. Every time I ask, she looks at me like, <laughs> anyway. She's like, no. I think it's, Mm-mm. oh gosh. She has boundaries. What if it's okay? not Bella or Ella? Okay, well, it might not be, but we're not going to know unless they tell us. Come on, Shins. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, because yay. all those kiddos are amazing. <laughs> And they're all painters, and so it could be. Well, I think could we just be any have of them. a fun homeschool group that's that's painting together today. Yay. So I love that. Yeah. I love it so much. Super fun. All right, Hopefully I'm letting that cameras... green dry though. Okay, y'all, if you're painting with me, let it sit now. Let it dry for a minute. Continue, Cammy. I cut you off. No, I just I I'm rinsing my brush. I cut you wish... off again. <laughs> I kind of wish I was there with them. I know. She would love to just paint with you guys. So would I. All I right? just, I kind of wish I was. Should we tell them that we're wanting to do a pop-up class, Cammy? Well. For spring break? Uh, should you? Should we tell them that? Should you? I'm really thinking about it. She okay. is. I'm, I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying really. to convince Miss Sarah to she do one. She is trying to convince me. Here's the thing. Cammy's going to Hawaii for spring break. I I'm am. a little depressed about I it. I am. I will So be. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get out of my depression enough. And I feel like painting with you guys would get me out of that. Give me something to look forward to during spring break while Cammy's off sunbathing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at my palette. It's looking good. How's your palette looking? I'm gonna add white now to my pink because I'm gonna get a lighter pink, but I'm saving some. I'm saving some for later again, okay? Cause you never know. So I'm not gonna mix all my pink at once, right? I do wanna lighten it up though. Maybe you just like the dark pink. Maybe you want purple. Remember how to make purple? You're gonna mix your turquoise and pink to get purple. Or maybe you want orange. So you're gonna mix your pink and your yellow together and get some orange, okay? So kind of have some fun and decide what you want, but we're gonna paint the middle of our camera now, okay? Cause our yellow should be good and dry or whatever color you use there, right? It should be totally dry now. So you can paint over it if you accidentally paint it inside the lines, you can now paint over it and cover it right up with whatever color you're using. That's why we like to give it a second to dry, right? That way you can clean it up if you want to. So I'm gonna go right across here. I'm trying to do a straight line, but you know what? We're not perfect, okay? At least I'm not. Speak I'm not yourself. a perfect painter. <laughs> Cammie has a much more steady hand than me, all right? Especially when Miss Sarah drinks her Coke. We all oh, know. are you a little caffeinated? I'm a little caffeinated, you know? I had my morning my morning coke and it's it's kicking in now so a little shaky ooh, it is it's fine <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna roll with this we're gonna do our best right that's what we do we do our best so i'm going to embrace the fact that my lines aren't perfect and it's just fine and you should too okay so i'm gonna come along the bottom as well and i'm again Try not to pick up my brush, see that? See how I'm trying to go straight across here? Whew, try, remember to breathe. Sometimes we forget when we're doing that, right? There we go, okay. Not bad. No. I feel like Miss Sarah I, did okay. I'm impressed. I, thank you. I feel like I'm I did impressed. all right. I feel like those are some of your best lines. <sighs> Man, I'm going out of the frame a minute here because I'm reaching the side, okay? So I'll see you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> we one all of these days, friends. One of these days, we're gonna, gonna be able figure to out our face the and our paint best camera all angle. at the same time. We try a different angle every Ooh, time. We're trying every to the best light. We just try a new one every time. I feel yep. like we're like, oh, let's try, let's try this side. How does that look? Here's what I know. What do you know? I know that the 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 the, the angle on uh -huh. the camera itself is just so good. Oh. Well, isn't that we good? We just can't see your face half of the time. See, I'm, <laughs> what do I do about that? All right. But you know what? You can see the painting. You and can that, see the painting. That is 100% what matters. Yeah, and we can hear you, I think. Good. I don't really know because. Well, we don't know because all the sound's turned off. <laughs> yeah. So there's not an echo in the room. So this might be a completely silent class. Is anybody looking class. for a job? Is this a silent class? <laughs> to come Subtitles. Help us. Do we have subtitle options? 
don't know if our friends mm. would just send us a thumbs up. You know, I I don't know. I mean, they're being shy. When you need they're being her. shy. Because she would tell us. She would tell us. She would She'd tell be like, us you that, guys are not. It's not working. Yeah, she would say, guys, you don't you don't look good. Yeah. You got the Oh, wrong she angle. loves to tell us we don't look yeah. good. That's like one of her favorite things. You know, so, okay. did you guys uh, see I added white to my pink? Just, you probably noticed that as I was painting, I put some white on my brush and added it to my pink. You know why I did that? Because you want to shine bright like a diamond. Wow. I want to shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> How did you know that? I just feel like that, she read shine my mind. Shine bright like a diamond. No, here's the thing. I didn't like my pink you, shade. Oh, you didn't like it. I wanted it lighter. So what did I do? Did y'all catch that? You made an artistic decision. I made a decision. I just threw some more white on top of that pink that was still wet on my canvas, and I blended it in. Boom. Okay? It, it's just a shortcut. All right? I'm teaching you a shortcut. And you guys can do that, too. You're very welcome for that tip. It was, I know. I feel like it's going to help you a lot in all that you're doing as an artist. If you don't like something and you don't want to mix more paint, put it right on your canvas, okay? Because then you're going back, you're trying to match the color and it's just, it can cause a lot of stress. All right, so my clicker here, as I like to call it, I call it a clicker. What did you call it, Cammie? I thought clicker was great and I supported it. All right, after she made fun of me for calling it a clicker, your camera button. It can okay. be whatever color you want, all right? I'm gonna do mine pink to match my camera. So I'm gonna come up here. It's a nice long rectangle. What, Cammie? I can tell you're dying to say well, something. Well, I'm telling you that cute little Charlie is on too. <gasps> we have another, ch what? We have another friend. <laughs> Charlie! Are we so surprised we have friends? No, I just love <laughs> that they're on with us right now. <gasps> we have a friend. Oh my yes. gosh. Well, it's we didn't know. Charlie, Middle of the day, we um, didn't know. No, Charlie gives us the best notes. Charlie. She always remember. Yes, she I gave know. Okay, here's the thing. I've then saved I them all. Her, of course we We did. have an MLP scrapbook collection. We have a collection and um, anytime you guys want to drop any more off, you know, just slide it under have, the door. <laughs> we should have I, a I mailbox those. that says just give us some just give us some love. Just give us a little bit of love, okay? okay? Sarah, we love them. Miss Sarah. Yes, I'm Did listening. the leprechaun come see you this morning, last night, while you <laughs> is, um, um, <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Tell me. Here's the thing. I will tell you about my leprechaun today. You guys want to hear about my leprechaun? Did you see it in action? Okay. I caught a glimpse. <laughs> oh, boy. I know. I know. You guys, no. I caught a glimpse. All right. Left footprints at my house. Were they green footprints? Mm-hmm. And don't little. I don't understand that. Can you explain They have me? green boots, all right? And I think they um, but get wet in the toilet or something because mine always hits the toilet for some reason. So, but help it's me a thing. understand this. I, and they leave marks. Do they have paint on the bottom of their feet? Possibly. Are they artists? Possibly. Are leprechauns artists? Leprechauns, they're artists. <laughs> Are you kidding? Anyone can they're be an artist. They're some of the most artistic people I've ever known. The things they do. The fact that you know the them. The stuff they come up with. The stories they tell. Oh, they yeah. are. It sounds like you have a very personal relationship with the I'm leprechauns. I'm telling you, I love the leprechauns. I love their culture. I love everything about them. <laughs> Okay. Don't even get me started on leprechauns. I won't. I okay? I will hope that I, this is where this conversation ends. We're going to just stop right there. <laughs> I'll give away their secrets and I don't want to do that. So we're going to leave it there. Okay. Oh. But I am wearing my shirt for them. They let me down today. They really let me down. But you know what? I haven't given up. I still like them. They're still my friends. But I got a flat tire on the way here. You know what? I swear that and was a little leprechaun. I feel like they played a trick on you. That wasn't very nice. And they they okay. popped your tire. I just very disappointed. So I will say because some people are I like, was late to this class because of that our thing. People leprechaun. know because I've gotten some messages like why aren't you on? When are you on? Uh-huh. Why aren't you what? Yeah. Why aren't you when are well, you wait today? Well yeah, because I'm just now seeing some of these messages. Oh but yeah, our people were kind of worried we weren't going to be on at one because we were late. And I think we should point out that the leprechauns gave you a flat Will you tire. guys just, <laughs> please, you think I'm lying. 
Jeez. Because I know I would. It's almost like I when would. the dog <laughs> chews your homework paper, right? <sighs> You're just like, sure. Yeah, you've got a flat tire. <laughs> All right, Miss Sarah. I our, did. Our employees would question you. I'm going to take a picture of my spare out there, okay? It's <laughs> ugly. I was terrified all the way here on that oh. freeway, but it got me here. This your rainbow is taking me ages. Guys, start from the top, <laughs> work your way it is. down. I got you a little worked up about the leprechaun. You did, and now I'm distracted. So, are they supposed to play Wrap tricks right here, on you? too, on your canvas if you're doing it, huh? Are leprechauns supposed to play tricks on you, or was that just you? Like, in general. What are you talking about, yo? Leprechauns are mischievous okay. creatures. Yeah. I don't know my leprechauns. We didn't catch one. They are we didn't even very set up a mischievous. Trap. You, so it's okay. I my kids kind of gave up setting a trap too. They never catch them. So this year they're like, nah. What's the point? As long as they, you know, we have green milk and green eggs, and <gasps> we have our okay. our green donuts. Guys, no, they're happy. You didn't. They're happy. Don't, you didn't they're happy. That. Did you miss that? Not all of it. It changes every year. <laughs> Depends. Okay. Depends well, on I what hope, my energy level is for the day, but. Well, I hope our friends um, had some lucky charms I, I would or love to hear your traditions, what you guys do, and if you guys caught the leprechaun. I would love to hear. I would because love to just know if it's possible. To I want to know it. if anyone ever has. You know, should we YouTube that? I bet someone has, right? I feel like someone might have. Yeah, that's, I just. Right? I think. I think it's like it's like the elf during Christmas. Oh. You can never catch the elf moving. Right. I just don't right. think you can catch They're sneaky little They're things. sneaky, right? Yeah. And I feel like I got a flat today on my way to teach you guys because they thought it was funny. I didn't. I took no, it pretty seriously. You did. And I, I was very <laughs> upset about it. So we're <laughs> not on speaking terms seriously. at the moment. So I think some of our friends. I think some of our friends are actually a little bit like they started it. They're not right with us on painting. Oh, how far? I don't I don't know. No, they're are not they behind. faster? No, they're oh. not they're uh, as in they're they restarted Get out. it. <laughs> <laughs> they restarted it. Because Oh cute little maid just barely told me she's nine. Do you see what I mean? Oh, yeah, May, yeah, you're yeah. nine. Yeah. May is We're nine. catching up with your conversation. Thanks so for responding. So I just responding. wanted to say that. Hopefully, that's okay to say that yeah. she's nine. Because I just want other artists to know, like, what ages would do these yeah. things. Yeah. And like, you don't have to tell us. You don't have to tell us. But we love to hear. So. Why do we not have to tell? They don't have to tell us their age if they don't want to. No. No, no, no. I'm just oh. saying, if you are, if you are like, hmm, how old? How it old? might be personal. How old should I be to paint this? Just know we've got um, little ones as young as five or we under do. painting this. We do. This is a five today. pluser, which so, means we know five year olds can handle it. But at it. the same time, adults would really struggle with this. <laughs> <laughs> as adults, we struggle with everything. This is a shout out to we all get children. The perfectionism you life takes than over, we do. <laughs> right? And that just happens, okay? My favorite people. Hi, Whitney. Oh, that's so nice. You're so, my favorite person. I'm saying hi to our TikTok friends. Well, I we have friends commenting, and Miss Cammy really needs to learn how to see this. Okay. No, I think we're, you need, here's we're, the thing. We're going to have a training. We're going to have a training. I would love okay? a tech training. Here's the thing. I Whitney, think you. hello. And then it's, um, um, I think it's, yes, art. Yeah. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. I All think right. what you need to do is learn how to get your computer working right. Okay. Because you set this up for me. Well, it should have and... been like foolproof, but I, I could have, I, I was rushed. Like I said, flat tire, leprechaun issues. So it, we're off today. It's okay. Leprechaun I, I'm issues. Gonna, I'm going to blame it on the leprechaun. Okay. <laughs> now, like we said, this is for five and older. Some of our older artists have learned to float or want to learn to float. And I'm gonna show you, this is optional. You can leave this camera like this and this is perfect, okay? But for those of you that want to float and add that extra little thing, it also says in your instruction sheet, optional, because it is, okay? Not necessary, optional. But take your flat brush, put a little bit of that dark pink on the corner. Okay, you see that? 
And then you're just gonna follow the edge with that darker shade. That's why I save a little bit of my paint no matter what I'm using, because I never know. I might wanna float the edges, okay? Or I might wanna mix some more color later. So I always save it, okay? But I'm just gonna, see how I'm just going around my edge? And it just adds a little something, right? It adds a shadow too around the center here. What's that called, Cami? Lens. Lens? Yes. <laughs> I'm learning. Look at me. I look that at, look that at her came go. to look me at her before go. you told me <laughs> what it was. I'm growing. Okay. So I'm gonna add a shadow around my lens. Okay. You are Oh man. You are. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of me. This is what we do. We learn new things, okay? Oh my gosh. I'm floating around I just my lens. Wish there wasn't any more to learn. I we're always learning. Okay? <laughs> I'm tired. Cammie's tired, I'm tired of but she gets to go to Hawaii soon. Yep. So I don't have a lot of sympathy. I feel like she's going to get her break. Okay. So but let's I, go back to that. Let's go back to that. Let's go back here we to go. That. Here we go. We're hashing need, it out. We need some comments on here. Uh huh. About Miss Sarah doing some pop up. Oh yeah. Spring break I, classes. You know, I'm thinking I will. I'm thinking I will. Here's here's what I'm trying to decide though, and you guys can help me with this. Okay. I'm trying to decide if we should do the pop-up earlier in the week or later in the week, okay? Because it's spring break out here, right? And I don't know if people are gonna be gone later in the week or if they're here at the beginning of the week and want something fun to do. Maybe it doesn't matter. What do you guys think? I think, I, I think they should let us know. I think they should. If you want us to do a pop-up class, you need to you need to. The other thing the is, I was going to um, do an Easter class because it's the week before Easter, right? It is. Spring okay. break is the week before Easter yeah. Sunday. I'm also adding some dark here in my rainbow if you want to do that as well. See that? Little See how Miss Sarah is doing a little shadow? shadow? Oops. I'm about to get some orange in my yellow. That's okay. All right. But do you guys see that? <laughs> and if you caught that, you know pink and yellow make orange. So if you come into it a Can little I bit. Can I say something it's okay. about that? It's look how pretty that is. I'm just loving this. It's I did gorgeous. good. How are y'all doing? I hope I want to say hope you're something loving it. about orange. Tell me about orange. She's gonna tell me I about orange. I prefer mm -hmm. the orange that pink and yellow make yeah. versus what pink or red and yellow make. Yes, it's I just, agree. Like it's just a, a much funner orange. Now you can obviously use a lot of white in your red and do the same thing, but I don't know. I find that just some pink and yellow uh -huh. make a really pretty orange. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Cammie, you brought something up that I love. Here's the thing. <laughs> you are. I love our chats. You we have such so good chats. Here's the thing. Tell me. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm still stuck on the So on. I'm also going to float just along the edge of my camera really quick here with darker shade of yellow. Just FYI if you want to do it, okay? Okay, here's the thing. When ever I mix paint, I like it better than directly from the bottle. Isn't that true with every color though? Like mixing colors, mm -hmm. they're more vibrant, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They just, and you get to choose the shading of it. Mm -hmm. So that is the joy of the primary colors. Like I, I love them. And even when I'm creating, I tend to mix my colors more than using straight from Bottle. I know. Do I you know do what that? Do. do you do that? Uh, like, is that something that I just tend to do a lot? Like, I'll just have my palette out, and I'm just like, I'll start mixing colors. I'm like, oh, I like that. And then you know what happens? I have to change it up for like classes and stuff a little bit so that kiddos can choose their colors, obviously, and everything. Here, here's a thought. But you know, I here's love a it. Thought. What's your thought? Let's. With we're having a business our... meeting with y'all while we're here. <laughs> You cool with that? Okay. With all our paint kits, we just offer red, yellow, and blue. <laughs> I know. Well, we have discussed this, right? It's our it's our new little artists that are just it's hard, learning. Though. It's They're hard. learning, and it's so nice to be able to play around with different colors before, because you're you're learning how to mix all those, right? And so that's been our hangup. We're like, so, do we? So or? here here's here's what I want. Tell here's, me what you want. Here's what I think our little artists that are joining us today that have this paint kit. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think they should do. Okay. When you're done and you have the turquoise, the pink, and the yellow left, mm -hmm. have some fun 
learning about your secondary colors okay. and make them with your leftover paint. Especially if you are, you know, part of our little homeschool community, uh -huh. this would be a fun little lesson. Um, mix some paints together. Yeah. And, Hi, raccoon. And learn those secondary colors. Mm -hmm. um, because it's true. It would be really fun. It's true that... Um, Pause, Cammy. Pause okay. on that thought. Don't lose that thought. I've already lost oh, it. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Guys, while all this is drying, we're going to let it sit for a minute, okay? And we're going to paint the center of our lens. I'm doing it the same as my background color because it's almost like a reflection, right? It's facing whatever my sky color is in my brain. That's how I think. So that's what I'm doing. But you could paint the center of this any color you want, all right? You could do it yellow, purple, pink, blue, whatever, okay? But I'm going to just take my background color right here and paint the center of it. Cami, continue your thought because I think it was a good one. You're onto something. It's what? gone, but I have another really? one. Really? Okay. Miss Sarah, uh -huh. um, let's say that I don't want a shamrock in the middle of my camera. Mm, new thought. This is a good thought. I'm because glad you brought that up. Obviously, we put it there because it's St. Patrick's Day and it pulls the whole like rainbow uh -huh. lucky and all that stuff. Now, do you see what Miss Sarah did? That's <gasps> trippy. I painted right over my shamrock because I wasn't thinking. I should have not done that so that you could see oh dear. your shamrock. Oh but, dear. But here's how Miss Sarah thinks. <laughs> I can see through my paint, okay? I can see my sham shamrock and it's easier for me to just paint the whole circle, so I did, okay? But don't worry, I'm gonna bring it back for you so you can watch me. But. If you don't want that in the middle, if you don't want this to be St. Patrick's Day themed, paint right over it. You could you could take white and paint over it first. That makes it really easy to cover. Or just do what Miss Sarah did. Paint right over that thing, okay? No big deal, all right? And I know that I just did. You can paint around it very carefully, okay? If you need to, right? If you're If you're worried about losing that outline, but I'm going to teach you kind of a fun way to paint a sham. Cammie, I'm yeah. going to call it a clover. That's hard for me to say. I don't know how you said that well, so listen, easily. It is a free country and you oh. can say whatever you want. Calling I, it a clover. I'm going to show clover. you how to paint it's, a really cute clover without the outline. Here's the thing, But you though, can keep Sarah, that outline if you it's want. It's not a lucky clover. It's not a lucky clover. That yep. is the problem. That's why I know. you got a flat tire. Probably. You, they were upset with me. They're like, <laughs> the leprechauns were like, you're painting today, but it's not yeah. a lucky clover, so flat tire for you. You know what? You can make it a lucky clover because when I show you how to paint this, you can add as many leaves as you want. You're going to love it. Miss Sarah, updates. Updates. Ella, What's up? it is. Okay. Not Bella. It Ella. is Ella. Okay. Ella. Ella. Miss Cammy misses you. Uh huh. Um, I just do. She is the cutest. Oh. And she she's going to give me a hug one of these days, <laughs> and we're going to be best friends. Okay, so they're finally catching up, up is what you're saying with well, what we're doing. What I'm, what I'm being told right? is they're just pausing it as they go. Oh. So, yeah. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We tell you to, and then we wonder why you're doing it. Yeah. You should do that. You should pause that while you go. Yeah, which Catch is, up later. So, good. I'm glad good we know who it is now. For people who are like, you're going too fast. Listen. Listen. Pause it. Pause the video. We want you to, right? Yeah. We want you to. That is the whole point of doing Technology this. is fun. You can pause it. Oh, man. But I will say this. Can, mm -hmm. I, can I say a thought? Say a thought. What's your thought? Um, Don't take too long. You're going to get well, worn I'm out. Well, I'm finishing. Here's the No, problem. I'm telling the oh. people. <gasps> I thought oh you cared gosh. about me. No, I'm telling Sorry. our people. Yeah, no, you got no it. When, I know. I'm no joking. No when to move on because no. yes. if you spend too much time on something, you're going to get burnt out. It does happen. And then you're just not going to enjoy it. So, like, yeah. don't take too long. Know when know. it's, like, as good as it's going to yes. get and be okay with it. Exactly. That and that's, that is a good thought. And it's Thank something you. to remember, like you got to keep moving. And our, our students in our classes know this. We just keep a steady pace because you won't see the end result till the end. 
right? When you're painting with... I get with, that end result. We, end. we all get this way. I get this way when I'm creating. About halfway through, I'm going, it's not working. You do it too. Well, here's what I tell people. She Every painting too. has an ugly face. It does. It has an ugly face. And you have to like, keep nope, going. Nope, nope. So you finish it, mm -hmm. right? So keep going. You're going to see the end result and be so proud of yourselves. You really will. So I'm going to keep moving. We're about <laughs> done, actually. We're getting really close. So I'm going to use my black. We're moving to black now, okay? And remember with black that once you start, it takes over. It's a very strong color, <laughs> if you want to call it a color. And it takes over, okay? So we always tell our little artists, start small. Don't start too big, okay? So I'm going to take my smaller flat now to do these smaller shapes. And I'm going to put some black on it here. Load it up. Did you dip it in water? Because remember, always start with water on your brush when you're using acrylics, okay? Always start. So I'm going to come up here to the top so I don't smear everything as I go. And I'm going to fill in my top rectangle first. Okay, so we're just going to fill it in. One thing you can do is go around the edges first and then fill it in. I do love doing that because then I get a nice clean edge before I fill in the rest. Okay, see that? And I can wipe any little drips. We don't want this black to drip, so just pay close attention to that. I'm gonna come around. Now my edges are curved on this rectangle, but if you want a straight edge instead, just paint an easy square right across, no big deal, okay? And yes, my, my not square, rectangle. If I had artists in here right now, they would be correcting Miss Sarah. Oh my gosh, they correct everything. They would correct me. They would say, Miss Sarah, that is not a square. Nothing slides with them. No, they know. They, they know, know their stuff, okay? Yep. And, and they would be right. It is definitely not a square. So when you're doing your rectangle, which by the way is actually very difficult, be very nice to yourself. We're just doing our very best, okay? And I don't want it to drip. So I watch it very carefully so it doesn't drip down all my hard work. And we're just, once you get that in, we're just gonna paint the inside. All right, I think we did it though. I think we did it. I think it looks awesome. Okay, so I've got that. Now we're gonna go, and Cammie and I paint circles a little differently. We've learned this, okay? <laughs> we have learned this. Because so I'm gonna show you. Different. I'm gonna show you Cammie's way and my way. They're both great. Wow. You just gotta do what works for You're you. You're gonna show them my way? I'm gonna show you Cammie's way. I don't know if I trust you to do I that. I kind of like Cammie's way too. I, I like them both. I think they're great. Now for the smaller circles, I'm gonna do it my way. Because I feel like small circles, my way's better. There you go. I'll just say it. I'll just say it. Cammie will get over it eventually. Here's <laughs> the thing. So when I'm doing the um, smaller circles, I like to take my flat brush and I place it so that I can spin it all the way around. So I place it down flat like this and I don't pick it up. See, I'm spinning my brush around, okay? And when I do that and not pick up my brush, I get a circle. And you just leave that baby, okay? It's Try not to like, touch it. It's, Look. It's like, a, it's amazing. Right, right, okay? And uh, you have to leave it, I didn't. <sighs> But I, I'm doing it now. I'm leaving it. I had a little drip <laughs> spot and I had to grab it. You didn't obey your own rule. I didn't, but you should. Don't touch it. <laughs> the only reason I did, I had a little too much water in my brush, guys, and it started to drip down and we all know what happens when you get a black drip. You don't want that to happen, okay? So I grabbed it. You shouldn't. Okay, take a flat brush again now. We're gonna do the center lens. And I want everyone to take a deep breath here because it's a black circle unless you changed your color, which you can do. I'm gonna load my brush. This is where I'm gonna paint it like Miss Cami does, okay? Because I feel like this technique is so good for larger circles. But you see, I'm loading my brush here with black. Add water to it if you feel like it's getting too thick. If you have really thick paint, it makes it kind of hard to paint. All right, so I'm going to get my black on here now. Um. <laughs> Who's laughing at me? Yeah, Everybody. laugh out loud. Everybody. Wishy-washy, why are you laughing at me? I wanna know, wait. 
laughing for a reason, I'm sure. He's hilarious. If you guys are on TikTok, go check out Wishy Washy, his art and his TikToks just have me rolling all the time. Funniest, funniest. And they're such, such good art. Best stickers ever. All right, so I'm going to create my circle cami style. Here we go. So what Cami does is she starts and she makes a moon, right? Cami, you correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong. It's like parentheses. Okay, I already have a drip. Dang, hold on. Too much water in mine. Okay, Woo, that looks pretty. Now you can see where I'm going. Here we go. So what, oh, you called it parentheses? Okay, so Miss Cami does parentheses. Okay, um, or you can call it a half moon. But she'll do this, she'll do a halfway point. Is that right? Okay, mm -hmm. making sure. I'm making I mean, I sure. I could do it a little bit better, but I I'm sure she could. But do you see how Miss Cami does? Okay, or a C shape, right? Yeah. Okay, and then she stops instead of going all the way around, and she comes back up to this side. Okay, and she completes it. All right. So I do love doing it this way when I'm doing these bigger circles. It just makes more sense. It does. It's, it's hard to keep your brush yeah. steady for a long time, but if you're doing smaller ones, it does it does go. Yeah, so I do love, I do love that she has that tip for you guys. So there you go. Can you can do it that way. Can we say hi to some other friends? Ooh, we have friends to say yes. hi to. Tell we me. Do. We have Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Cute, cute Lexi. I know she's going to add something personal to this camera. Oh, and I of want to course. know what it is because of course she does personal touches to everything. Everything. So hopefully, Lexi uh -huh. tells her mom to share it with us. To share it with us. Because here's the thing: I really look forward to that. It was my favorite part. It's of so class fun. Is seeing the kids yes. and their their personal touches. So I'm wondering if she'll put something different oh. in the lens. What is it, Lexi? What are you going to do? I, what are you going to do? I, I really want to know. Because she always does. She, she does. is the cute. Oh. Yeah. She's I mean, just a sweet most bird. of our artists did, honestly, but it was always fun because she would add such creative little things that I never, my brain would not even think of. I just no. love to see what she no, would do. She's their, their creative, creative little soul. That's for sure. And, you know, it doesn't surprise me though mm -hmm. what? that they're pausing along the way because you know cute little Lexi <laughs> needed some more class time. She did. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right, Lexi. Cute little Lexi always needed she she and Tina, me. Tina, you're not laughing. Thanks for not laughing, Tina. It's good to see you, girlfriend. Sorry, we're continuing with Lexi. Lexi, yeah, I had to just, say hi to Tina too. They right. just need some extra time sometimes. That's okay. I'd rather you take your time and be happy with the painting than rush mm -hmm. it and not be. Right. You know I mean? Take your time. Pause it. I'm glad you guys thought to do that. That means we're getting through, Cami. They're listening to us because they That's used to not pause it. Do you remember that? They would, <laughs> we would get these messages like, your videos are too fast. You're too like, fast. You're too they fast. are too fast. Please oh, pause dang. them. Dang. Pause it, please. Pause it. You need yeah. to. Oh man, I'm going to switch up brushes, you guys. I'm letting my lens dry. I'm gonna switch to my detail brush now, okay? So we're gonna use a detail to do right around our rainbow that's that shooting mean? out of when our you say, camera. When you say detail brush. Line brush, see how little it is? Your tiniest brush. Tiniest brush. You just, I mean, if you can do this with a small flat or something, psh, wow, good job. I do know that there are little artists that can do that, Cammie. I've seen them do it and it just... Well, the younger the artist, the braver wow. the artist is what I'm learning. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, so you do it, okay? And wow, you can see how much Miss Sarah, you know, the caffeine is really, <laughs> holy cows. All right, just, just bear with me. Miss Sarah? Yes. It looks really good. Wow, I am so glad. If Thanks for that vote of confidence because... I'm just oh, kidding. I don't want to. Miss Cammie might be able to get a straight line for you guys. No, I, I, I feel also like had a little too much caffeine. Oh this my. I didn't think I did. Oh, I did. But I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. So um kudos to all of you that don't need your caffeinated beverages. I feel like you're better off. Well, since we're painting mostly with children today, I maybe know. we should shout out about 
caffeine is not it's not necessary (laughs) until you are um, a mother yeah and absolutely desperate (laughs) okay I guess even those that aren't mothers need it. I I feel everyone. Adult. Let's just say adult. Adults. Adulting. Adults. Adulting's hard. Okay. All right. How did? It's not bad. It isn't. It, it's not great on that point. I, you can see. These are good life lessons. But I feel like it's pretty good. How are you guys feeling online? I hope you're loving it. The caffeinated shakes. Woo! That's okay. I just think that it's great. Sarah, so, from my angle it looks fantastic yes okay now we're gonna let that all dry okay we're gonna let it dry and we're going to do oh it looks so good i know you have to look at the camera (sighs) you have to look at the camera in the camera (laughs) let this be a lesson to you all okay you get up close to your canvas you see everything and we just need to have fun. Can That's we why share, we're here. Can we share a trick? We're having that, fun. Here's a trick Sarah and I use uh-huh. every time we create. Yes, here's a trick. <laughs> if we can't decide if we like it or not. What, what trick are you telling them? If we can't decide if we like it or not, we take a picture of it and oh, look yeah. at the picture Speaking instead of, of cameras. Painting. Right. Yes. Try it because as soon as you see it in a picture, you'll be like, oh, oh good. my gosh, so true. It's so weird how that happens. Oh, that's a really good tip, though, Miss Cami. Thank you. I okay. love it. All right, guys, we're going to just, we've got our, our um, highlighting to do. I couldn't talk for a minute. We're going to do our highlighting, clover, and outlining, and we're done. And make sure it's dry. You can stick some glitter on there, but we want to make sure it's dry before you do that, okay? I love glitter paint. Glitter's the best. So, if you didn't know, we got glitter. Okay. If we you have, have if you glitter. have the paint kit, it has the glitter glaze in it. Yes. And it if you have that paint kit, it's the best. It's okay. Happiness. Now I have a little tip for you. After you paint the black on that lens, if you need to go around it with some more turquoise, okay. I had an artist ask me this the last time. I don't know if you guys were here when we did our original camera we have an original and we don't paint it anymore because of reasons that (laughs) if you were here you know but here's the thing when we painted it we had a lot of friends ask well the lens I painted black inside and I don't love it okay let your black dry you can go right up along the edge of that and clean it up but it's very important you let the black dry because if you don't, the center of your lens is going to turn black, guys. And we don't want that, do we? No. Okay. All right. So let's let's let that lens dry before I show you how to do the super awesome easy clover. We're going to do our highlighting. Now, you have two ways to do your highlighting. I'm going to show you both. Right? You take your detail or line brush, put some white on it. Just like this. Right? Got some white on my detail brush. And you can do your highlighting this way. And all the highlighting is, is a little bit of white to show where the light might be hitting your camera. Okay, just like that. See how I just added a little stroke there. I also put a little bit of light here on the top of my camera, just like that. And you can add some right inside here. I do a little bit of a rainbow shape, just like that. Okay, so you can go around and do that on your camera or you can float it which is my personal favorite because I love floating some of you don't every artist is different but I take a clean flat brush put a little bit of white on the corner just like that I don't want it too clumpy so sometimes I'll brush it off and then I'm gonna start here and just start putting a little bit of light along the edge of my camera see that I have some on this edge And you don't need to keep on loading your brush with white. Usually a little bit goes a long way. Okay. So I always tell the artists. Ooh, Miss Cammie tips. Here it comes. (laughs) What do you tell your artists, Miss Cammie? I tell them that highlights wake up your painting. (gasps) That's cute. It adds light. I do love that. It's so important because your painting just seems, it's cute. It's cute. But you want to wake it up. Right. So give That's it some cute. Highlight. Because listen, every class, I swear, every single class I taught, uh-huh. someone would say, do I have to highlight? 
The answer to that is no. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> the answer to that is it's your painting, so do whatever you want. Right. But it makes a difference. Right. And it does. You should take the time to wake up your painting. I love that, Miss Cammie. Like, You're so welcome. I love that. I'm going to use that now because that's really cute. Mm. It is. It's cute. Wake up your painting. Wake up your painting. Wake it up. Make okay. it stand out. Make it shine. Add a little light. <laughs> yeah. So many songs. Isn't are that cute? To <laughs> I know. I thought of it too. You're not going to sing it though. Okay. <coughs> no, I don't no. feel like okay. singing. Now look, I'm going to add some light here to my lens. Again, you're waking it up, right? Wake that lens up. Whoa. Whoa. It's okay, Miss Sarah. It I have a little loop, lumpy <laughs> lump right there. Okay. But here's the thing. Here's the awesome thing about this lens. Tell me. Okay. If you don't like it, guess what color it is? Black. I don't have to guess. I'm you can go it. right over it with some black if you don't like something about this. Okay. Cover it right up. It's, a be it's beautiful. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so don't worry about it too much. I'm just gonna do some of the outside edge, white. It gives it a little bit of movement, motion in your painting, and really shows the layers, right? Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more here, closer on the other side. Yeah, I love that. See, I'm just kind of lightly brushing in that white. We don't want the white to take over. No, white but out can happen. But remember, you can go back with some black if you don't like it. Just put a little black on your brush, okay? But, but black will just cover everything, okay? It does cover it all back up. So if you like it, leave it alone. I've learned that the hard way too. <laughs> and you might Whew. you might like it more than you think. If you yeah, leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone, okay? Miss Cammie and I have done this many times and we'll message each other. I just, I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Look at this, look, look what happened. What painting was it you just recently did that in? That was so funny. Right. Well, oh, yeah, it was an Easter painting you're working on. She yes. was like, the leaves, the leaves. Yeah. Yeah, it, no. That one, that. Might have to wait till next year. Oh, <laughs> I was really excited about it. I know. She has too. an epic one coming. Coming you guys, in 2024. Oh, can't wait for it. Okay, nice. there's, there's, there's that, there's that lens. I have just one more highlighting. No, two. I lied. Two. Very important, okay? So take your white again. Miss Cammie had something to say. Follow along. Here we go. I was gonna say hi to Ollie. Ollie, hello. Cute I'm brushing Ollie. up some white, Ollie, right here in my rainbow. See, I'm just brushing up. I'm making sure my brush strokes go up with that white. That's gonna even emphasize that shooting out of our camera even more. Look at that. Yeah, we've got a couple of dudes. Today. Ooh. Hello. You know what I love? What do you love? I love Tell painting me. with the boys. Oh man, they're the best. They're hilarious. Because, um, you know, uh -huh. they are just up for anything. <laughs> right? They, okay, if you want to talk about fearless artists. Paint with some boy, yeah. little boys. They're oh, just, they're just they are for the fearless, and I love it. Oh man, they're fun. So we've got a couple. We've got Ollie and Leo. Oh, Leo! Mm -hmm. <gasps> Hello, Leo. And my guess, I'm just gonna guess. Uh huh. Tell is me that they're not needing the pause too much. Oh no, they're about done. They're ahead of me. They might be done. <laughs> They're like, Mom, do we have to keep watching? I'm done. I'm ready to go um, play. That's what they're. That's what's yeah, happening right now. They're probably like, they're they probably signed yep. at this point. Yep, they're done. Um, but uh, we but love... I'm so glad that they were here. Okay, for even just a minute, I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, I will take it. We love. Wait, little... it was Ollie and who else? Noah. Noah. No. 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 Not Noah. No. Oh, not Noah. Leo. Leo. Okay, wow. We've got a Noah and a Jude, I think, that are in the room. Oh, but hello, Noah some, and Jude. These are some little, little people that are probably just, you know, watching. Oh. Hey. Probably just watching. Love it. Okay, guys, we're going to finish up this baby. Are you guys done? Hopefully, we're ready for this clover. Okay, because I'm going to show you how to paint a really fun I know, clover. I don't know what you're going to do. And the fun thing with clover, this clover, too, is you could even do it with a marker. You could do it with a crayon. Oh, I mean, once you know how to do this, and maybe you do, maybe you're already like, Miss Sarah, that's old school. 
here's the thing. I am old school, all right? It's okay. But maybe you don't know, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with this because you can take it and draw it on your sketchbook, which yeah, I know y'all have. I think that, just to clarify, mm -hmm. you know, clarify. we're not suggesting you take a crayon and you draw it on your can. Oh. <laughs> Please don't do that. What we're saying is once you know how to make this clover the way Miss Sarah is going to show you, is yes. you can, you'll be drawing and coloring it everywhere. You can color this clover because anywhere. Because then you'll know how to do it and you'll just feel like you're super cool. You're going to love it. But make sure you have your green ready if you're doing a clover with me. And you know what? If you don't want to paint your clover on your canvas, maybe you don't want to. That's okay. You don't have to. Okay. Ah. Uh, Thank you, Tina. Thanks for telling me I'm doing an awesome job. I need the motivation. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. Tina's telling me we're doing awesome. Thanks, Tina. Tina is our, she is a finger painter artist. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of those. And what she can do, she can literally take a canvas without anything on it. She just recently finished Bob Ross and did an incredible job with her fingers. Guys, I love that. isn't that cool? Okay, okay, so so you guys should just go say hi to Tina. Here's the thing. Okay, what's I the always, thing? I always tell people don't let the tools that you have keep you from creating. <laughs> right. So Tina's, Tina's like, the I just perfect got my example fingers. of this. <laughs> Tina's like, do it with your fingers, y'all. She is seriously incredible. She sells her work, and I just admire her so much. You should check her out because she's amazing. Just one of those artists that you're just like blown away by. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and she has two little boys that have painted our paint kits and. They did such a good job. They did our little dinosaurs. Of course they did. Oh my gosh, so the cute. Dinosaurs. They're dino fans, like you wouldn't believe. All right, so we're gonna paint this, this clover together, okay? So if you don't wanna paint it, grab yourself something and do this with me, okay? In honor of St. Patrick's Day, right? That's what we're doing. So you might have your outline on here. If you have our paint kit, you might have the outline, which is great. It acts as a guide for you. If you don't, here we go, you ready? I'm just going to take my detail brush. Tell me if you can guess what I'm doing. Bet you can, bet you can guess. Am I allowed to guess? Nope, okay. Miss Cammie is not. Gosh, Cammie, you're gonna give it away. I am She's so dying sorry. right now, she's like a child sometimes. <laughs> she's like, wait, ooh, ooh, she's that one in the front of the classroom It's like, pick me, pick me. Aren't you, Cammie? Here we go. Yeah, I feel I'm gonna I feel create that. now. And here's one thing to keep in mind when you're doing a clover. Look at that. What I do? What I do, Cammie? Now you can talk. You said I couldn't. You can now. You painted a heart. I did Sarah. a heart. Okay. I did a heart. We're going to connect hearts. One thing that's kind of fun with clovers, though, is you don't need perfect hearts. Okay? No. Do you see how one side of my clover is bigger and wonky compared to the other? It's what we want. We want our clover leaves to be different, not the same. Okay, so I'm gonna connect now another little heart here. Okay, so I'm just gonna come down here and connect my heart, see that? I'm not filling it in yet because I want you to see the process. I want you to see how we're doing this. Okay, so I've got my other leaf over here. Now I'm gonna do one more because mine is obviously a three leaf, and Miss Cammie pointed out this very unlucky. So that is the cause you of the unlucky day. Paint another, paint another if you want. But boom, can you see it? Yeah, there's can three hearts. Can you see it? Okay, now we got to give it a stem. We it needs a stem. You can do it straight down the middle if you want to. I kind of like to curve mine a little bit just to give it some personality, right? Make it imperfectly perfect, right? So I kind of curve my stem a little bit, but you can come straight down the middle if that's easier for you. Once I have my outline on here, I'm just gonna fill it in. Look at that. And you just created your very own clover. And you can do this with more than the three leaves I did, or you can do it just like this. Connect as many hearts as you want. But I just think, oh, makes the cutest little clover. Look at that. 
I oh, love okay. Clover. Is that not the cutest little That's clover so you ever cute. saw? I'm going to let it dry for a minute, okay, while we just finish. I'm going to go and do my outlining really quick here. Let that clover dry. And I didn't outline line everything with my camera, okay? You can outline everything if you want. We have some artists that really like to outline everything, and that's perfectly okay. You do what works for you, or you don't have to outline at all. We have, we definitely have artists that are like, Miss Sarah, do I have to outline? Nope, you do not have to outline, okay? Well, and I think it's good to suggest if you are younger. Uh-huh, that's very true. Don't, maybe, maybe encourage them not to outline quite yeah. yet. Yeah, it depends on the age for sure. Yeah. Like, I feel like um, it's really good practice for our artists to learn how to use the pressure. What, I didn't say that right. The brush pressure. What am I trying to say, Cami? Mm -hmm. like, brush pressure. Brush pressure. Learning how hard to press and how light to press with your brush to get different um, outcomes. So that is one reason we do like to outline and encourage artists to learn that. It just is a really great thing to figure out. However, if you are just a little artist, give yourself time because you don't necessarily need to outline all of this and sometimes it backfires. <laughs> we have learned this. So, you know, don't outline if you're not quite ready to do that, okay? But I am going to just outline some of it and I try to keep my outlining in the shadows or use it to really define the image and show off what it is that I painted, okay? So if like the yellow, it is very light. And because it's such a light color, I do like to add some outlining just to define my image a little more, okay? And I'm gonna pull away from the edges on top of my camera for my outlining. And I'm gonna come down here on the side. I'm just brushing it around here. And see, it just gives a shadow under my camera, but I'm not going to go all the way across. I'm just going to let it end just like that, right? We don't, we don't want to stress ourselves out with getting those perfect lines all the way across. So I just kind of let it fade out. This should not be stressful. No. Nope. If it is, skip your lines. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you're suddenly feeling stressed, stop. Okay. Don't be stressed. This is fun. This is just for fun. Okay, I'm gonna come along the top of this one here as well on both sides, just to define my camera a little bit. There we go. Let it fade away. It's kind of different every time you do it too, you know? It just depends on where your brush will take you because our brush, it speaks to us. Did you know that? Because I know that very well. It speaks to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so if you didn't know that, Sarah's you will learn. Oh. And her paintbrush is talking to her. My gosh. Are Guys, leprechauns got me good today. And I, I've just always loved the luck of the I'm Irish. And I called Cammie really upset you, because be I wasn't happy. All right. I just, my paint's wet right there. Don't smear your paint. I'm going to come down. Typically, I go up on this part, but because my paint is wet, I'm coming down. Okay, to do that line, you just do what works for you. Um, yeah, I know, I did, I did. I called Cammie a little upset at the leprechauns. I was not happy today, so I, you know. It's, it, it's, it started I feel like it was rough. good reason. I feel like I had good reason to be upset, and so, um, hopefully we're friends again soon. I think we will be. They're they're pretty cool. And they did bring um, green frosted donuts what? to my house. Yeah, so I feel like that I feel I like was been nice. At your house this morning. You know, sometimes they're fun. <laughs> sometimes. sometimes, sometimes the leprechauns, you know, get get it together and they do something fun. Okay. Maybe I've offended the leprechauns. Oh man, I'm so shaky. Whew. Yeah, I don't know. It's all right. Next year. There's always next year. 
This is true. All right, I'm coming straight up now. And this again is optional. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a defining line to separate my rainbow that's shooting out of the camera. But again, that's, this is optional because it's not easy. Something to learn. Take your time doing it, okay? Don't rush it. There we go. I like it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not touching it anymore. I'm done with that, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna call it. So once this clover is dry, I want you to check it, make sure it's dry. I'm just gonna put my last, whoa, there's a car coming by that's you know, our studio really a loud. Sorry street. about that. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure my clover has a good layer on it and then you can leave it like this or you can separate it with me, okay? I'm going to just separate it. Hello guys. Hello, hello. More friends joining on here. All right, so I'm going to separate it a little bit because I just want to show off my leaves. And I'm just going to come right around the top. Here we go. See how I can separate those hearts? Because right now, yours might look like one big leaf with little loops around the top. Yeah, it might I mean, a little bit of a blob. A little bit of a blob. Yeah. I, mine does, okay? So Miss Sarah needs some assistance. And what I'm going to do is just take my black and go right around some of the edges there just to separate. See that? And you don't have to do all your edges. You could just do some of them. If you want to take the time to do all of them, go for it. It looks great either way. But you see how that, that little bit of an outline just kind of separated right cute wow it looks we like did a it it does doesn't it isn't that cute it sure does okay all right let's get our glitter miss cammy yes can you get my glitter is it not right here where is my glitter? well is it is it good yeah <laughs> no it's not <laughs> that's what i was wondering i think my glitter needs some help well i've got to go find some because I she's gonna get me some glitter yeah. and while she's getting me some glitter okay you guys add any highlights you want and we're also going to add these little dots with the back of our brush to our rainbow camera right but the reason i haven't done it yet is because i want to add my glitter first so I don't smear it I tend to smear my glitter if I'm not careful so I'm gonna rinse my brush I'm getting it all ready for my glitter okay make sure it's really clean and then the other tip is do not put <laughs> You guys saw Cammy. Finally, she appears. I'm a little blurry back there, but she's, I'm there. She's here. Okay, I'm okay. cleaning my brush really Here's good. Your glitter. Make sure it's so clean. You will smear your paint and anything that's in your bristles, your glitter, it will show. Also, make sure it's dry because all this hard work will just psh, be for nothing. It will just smear everywhere. So I'm going to take my flat brush, load it up with some glitter. Okay. And you're gonna glitter this canvas wherever you want. Boom, oh man. This is the best glitter too. If you have our kit, you have this glitter. It is transparent, you can see right through it, but it glitters like no one's business. Like, I, isn't that true, Cammy? Don't you just love this glitter? I we the found glitter. the glitter. We found it. We found I, it. We went through a lot of glitter before we found this glitter, and it is my favorite. I tend to glitter a lot now. Well, that is, a lot. that is something, like, if you want it extra sparkly, yes. just wait till your first layer dries and add And add one. more. You can always add more glitter. Okay, I'll tell you what I glittered. I glittered my rainbow and I glittered my clover. Okay, that's what I glitter. You can do whatever works for you, whatever you're feeling, whatever you want, but I like to kind of keep my glitter in special places so that it really stands out. But I would definitely different, suggest, right? Don't glitter your entire painting. Yeah, because then it special. You want to, you want. It's kind of fun to, to put that glitter where it pops, where it's really noticed, right? But you know what? Glitter is, 
You can't help it sometimes. You just want to glitter everything. That's and true. you can. That it's yours. You do whatever you want. Okay? Now, the last thing I'm gonna do. Um, that's a different plate, so I'm gonna grab my original plate. Take the back of your brush, right? Dip it in some white, just like this. We call it our chocolate chip. Get a white chocolate chip, just like this. And just to add a little more light to your painting, I am going to just stamp some little dots here into my rainbow. And do you see how I'm not adding a bunch of dots? And I kind of try to keep them in threes. I like to pair them in threes. See that? Odds are good. Odds are good. When you're painting or creating anything, it's kind of, it's a trick to the trade, guys, okay? It's kind of a, a good thing to do. It looks really nice when people are looking at your work. It feels comfortable. Odd numbers just feel comfortable to the viewer. So I try to keep all of my little dots kind of in clusters of three. And you can just keep adding them as many as you want, right? I'm just trying to decide how many more I want to put on here. Just remember who the star of the show is. Yeah. Ex like, what is the star of the show? Is it the camera or the clover? Hmm. Well, I would say. It depends, say right? You just don't want all the dots to take over. Right. So kind of find that balance and stick find with it. Find that happy spot. Happy spot in your painting and let it be. Okay. I'm going to finish up here. Just putting a couple of them here in around my clover to draw attention to it because I want I want people to go oh there's a clover right okay we did it we did it y'all I'm gonna sign my name because amazing. I'm gonna encourage all of you to sign your name signatures are so important so important to sign your work you should be so proud of yourself proud of what you just did so get your detail brush. You, I mean, I've seen all kinds of signatures. It doesn't have to be your name. You can do whatever you want your trademark signature to be, right? We've You're had artists do all kinds of things. On your painting. Yep. I signed it Miss Sarah because that's what I do, right? That's my thing. That's who you are. That's who I am. That's mm -hmm. what I do. You do you, all right? Please share this with us. We want to see them. Give us a hashtag, my little paintbrush, a thumbs up. And you could send us your picture if you want to on any oh, of our social media platforms. I feel like we need to see theirs. We, we feel like we're not able to see these beautiful I'm masterpieces. FOMO. It, it's a FOMO thing. I'm and having FOMO. Miss Cammy and I would love to see them. So send them to us if you feel so inclined. We won't share them with anyone else. We just want to see your work and give you a thumbs up and a high five. So follow us for more. We're going to have more live classes. So come back and paint with us again. Okay? And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Have fun and happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Okay, don't offend the leprechaun. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.